A personal trainer who knows all too well what it's like to be in the military is hoping to uplift veterans. Mind, body, and soul. Woo! I'm Michelle Hoffman, and for this week's Veterans in Focus, I'll show you what the Fit for Service program is all about. Deep breath in, hold it for two, relax. There it is. Last one. Good. Robbie Casas brings energy and excitement. The leg that's coming out, and twist to that side. Encouraging his clients to dig deep and push hard Three. to reach their fitness goals. Four. Casas helps people of all ages and backgrounds. But as a military member and former firefighter, he's really passionate about giving back to first responders and veterans in our community. Casas recently started a new program called Fit for Service, dedicated to helping our nation's heroes improve their physical health. So we work on empowering your strength. Then after that, we work on your hypertrophy. And then the third block is called a metabolic stress. It's basically the cardio or the conditioning portion of it. Now what that is, is just to make sure that you're still able to move and you keep, keep up with your kids and your family and events Nine. and life. 10, good. Casas believes fit for service can also benefit a person's mental health. The idea was inspired by a friend Casas met in the National Guard. Just use it as a balance. He said, you know, just why not? And I said, well, I mean, I've got this going on, I've got this. I mean, I had so many excuses that I could have given. And he said, why give an excuse? I was like, you know what, you're right. Unfortunately, the conversation that led Casas to this point ended up being their last. He ended up uh, passing away, but he ended up taking his life. Casa says it's difficult to pinpoint the exact reason why, but he remembers his friend expressing feelings of loneliness and isolation after he finished his contract with the National Guard. When he had gotten out, he was still searching for something. He was searching for a camaraderie. It's anytime that we would talk, have dinners, he said, you know, he, would, he was missing the training and just the hanging out with the guys kind of thing. That isolation just crept up on him. His friend's death was about two years ago, and ever since, Casas never stopped keeping him and his motivation out of his mind. While juggling a full-time job at a refinery and serving as a staff sergeant in the National Guard last year, Casas got his certification to become a personal trainer. On the way back. The Fit for Service program started in June. There it is. 100% disabled veterans can actually join for free, <laughs> but Casas is calling on all active duty military members, veterans, and first responders to take part. Eight. Ray Hernandez is taking the challenge. 10, good. The veteran and firefighter paramedic has been going for about four weeks, hoping to improve his flexibility, right, mobility, and overall health. There it is. I miss being in the best shape of my life and I want to get back to that point. Hernandez does believe the Fit for Service program will keep him on track. It keeps you motivated. You have more people involved in it. You're motivated to be better, to do better every single time. It's kind of like peer pressure, but in a positive way. Good job, Ray. Good job. You're around people who are like-minded like you, so you have those stories to share and you have the, the fun bickering with each other and, and, and uh, getting after each other and pushing each other. That's what the camaraderie and the brotherhood of being in the military breaks. Now the Fit for Service sessions are going to be held right here at the Texas Arena Strength and Fitness location on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 1 p.m. But Mr. Casa says if you do have any scheduling conflicts, he could try to accommodate. In your neighborhood from Corpus Christi, I'm Michelle Hoffman with this week's Veterans in Focus.